Hi YouTube family, welcome into today's video, which is gonna be a pretty quick go through my trash and find out what in here I loved and what I am not gonna repurchase. I do have quite a few things in here, so I kinda wanna go through this pretty fast. Let's get into it right after I tell you if you're new to my channel, please subscribe by hitting the red button below. And if you wouldn't mind everybody, just stop for a second and give me a thumbs up. That really does help me out so much and I do appreciate it. So let's get into it. My Big Mac Daddy of Marine Collagen Peptides. This is the third one that I've ever been through and I continue to purchase these. I already had one in backup before I ever ran out of this one. This is from Andrew Lessman, Your Vitamins. This is for healthy everything. Collagen is what Retin-A goes down in and stimulates in our skin in order to make our skin look better. So that's what Retin-A is trying to do when it goes in. So if you want to attack it from the inside, get yourself a really good collagen and not all collagens are created equal. So I suggest that you just do a little bit of your own research and try to find. I know that this one seems like it costs a lot and yes, it is very pricey, but you have to keep in mind that this one will last me more than a year. So um, definitely worth the money on that one for me. It's something I will continue to repurchase. So there are definitely some things that I actually have in almost every one of my empties video that I show you guys that I'm going to continue to repurchase. This is the Kirkland Minoxidil formula. This is what I use to help my hair not fall out so much. I've been on this um, almost coming on a year now and I just have really enjoyed the results with it. Um, something that I will continue to repurchase and I really do love how good that does for me. The Jergens Natural Glow Wet Skin Moisturizer. This one is in the fair to medium. That's the first time that I had tried that. I really like how good and hydrating this is and I do like the tan that you get it. However, I would suggest that you get the darker one. I think it's medium to dark because this fair one, unless you're like super porcelain, super white, it really doesn't show up really well. And the other thing is I don't necessarily use this on my wet skin. I actually will completely towel off and then I'll put it on and it just seems to be um, that much more hydrating and it also seems to be that much more of a tan that you get. It's, it's a gradual thing so it's something that you need to use over and over again. This is another one that I have a couple of backups in the smaller ones that I love using this. This is so good for a body lotion. I actually use this for a long time as a night time extra creamy lotion during the summer. And this is from First Aid Beauty. This is their Ultra Repair Cream. When you buy it in this huge tub, it is a lot more cost effective. Um, but I would say that this is a good moisturizer for just about anybody. And also if you have sensitive skin, but you need a lot of hydration, this is really good for that too. So this is one that I can highly recommend to you. This is one that I did not want to like. <laughs> because look how tiny that little jar is. I wanted to hate this. I got this as a perk from, I think it was the Allure Beauty Box. And that, you know, it's like the tiniest little thing in the universe. It's like, how could I ever even figure out whether or not that's something that I liked, but I did. This cream is so nice and so emollient. And I only used it on my eyes because I have super dry um, under eyes, super crinkly under eyes. So I used this and I ended up liking it so much. So not that I'm gonna go out and purchase it because I know it's a bloody ton of money, but yeah, I ended up liking that one. I also ended up really liking this Bioessence Squalane Antioxidant Cleansing Oil. Really, really liked this. It took off any, you know, waterproof makeup that I had on at all. I did, after you use this, I do have to do another cleanse with it. So with something that's not an oil. I find that that's the case with just about any oil that I use as a cleansing oil or a makeup remover. But this was a good one as far as it being like, extra wonderful for the money. I personally would use something like olive oil or coconut oil to take my makeup off and I think it would be every bit as good as that one. This one is the Dr. Jart Water Fuse and it's uh, again it's just a, a cream. It was very light and very airy. It was a little bit too light and airy though for my dry skin and this was touted as a hydro sleep mask. So as far as keeping my skin hydrated throughout the night, it did not do that. So this is one that I would say that I would have to pass on personally. Another one that I would probably pass on that I used up is a sample of the Sunday Riot, Sunday Riley Ceramic Slip Cleanser. Um, it was a good cleanser, but for the price, I know how expensive Sunday Riley is. And for the price, 
I just would get something that is so much cheaper. I use Purity Made Simple from Philosophy, which I absolutely love. And you can buy a humongous one of those that will last you more than a year. And if I'm really looking towards drugstore, I love the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser. It's way better than this. So this is something that it was just, it was just a cleanser. It wasn't anything that cleaned my face better than anything I'd ever had or anything like that. So I would have to say I would probably skip on that one too. But you guys know that I'm a frugal mama, so that's that. Here is another moisture cream. This is called, say, is Moisturizing Sorbet from Caudalie. I am not a huge Caudalie fan. And I will just say that maybe my experience with some of the way that some of their products have smelled has kind of turned me off to the brand. The other thing is I just think that it's way overpriced for what you get. And you guys, I hope that none of you are taking offense to that because you have to know that I am the ordinary, I'm, I tout the ordinary because I love that skincare line so much. So please don't take offense if any of these are ones that you like a lot. Um, they're not ones that were bad by any means, but for me, because of the cost effectiveness, and, and I am on a budget because I'm disabled, so I have to be careful there. So when I find something like this, that was a good product, but I know that there's something else that I can use, I don't really gravitate towards it. The Exfolicate from Kate Somerville, same thing here. I did like this, actually. I like the cooling effect that this gave, and the little microspheres that are in there, they're really fine. And so I did like that about them. And and you did have to use just a little tiny bit. So I would say that if I ever found this on a sale or if I was ever gifted it, I would enjoy this product again. So One of my Maybelline Master Camo pens in green. This is what I use for my redness on my cheeks before I do my actual foundation. And I love this and I have two as backups. So that one's definitely going to stay in my rotation. This is from Dr. Dennis Gross. This is the Froilic Retinol Triple Corrector Eye Serum. This it did nothing. <laughs> this did really nothing. And I used this whole entire bottle. This is a full size bottle and it really did nothing for my under eyes. So even though it was supposed to be, you know, a really great retinol product, I find that you can't beat my Retin-A. And speaking of my Retin-A, here's my tube, completely flattened. And yes, there usually is one of these in every single one of my empties. A tube of this lasts me about a month, maybe sometimes a month and a half. So there usually is a tube of this in my monthly um, throwaways or my monthly will I buy it again. And I have several backups of that one. This is from Christoph and Robin, and this is a scalp scrub. Inside of this little jar were rocks. And that is not an exaggeration. They were rocks. And you scooped them out and you put them on your head and then you kind of, you know, cleansed your scalp with them and started twerking your scalp. And the rocks would melt, but you were cleansing your scalp with rocks, kind of. I think that was the scrub part of it. But it turned into a really nice lather that turned into a really good cleanse for my scalp. So I really did actually like this one. And if I have the chance to, I probably will purchase it again. I go through all different kinds of hair things. So, but this was a good one. I really did like that one. So you guys, I know you don't think that I probably ever say anything bad about The Ordinary, but I do. <laughs> and here it is. The Ordinary Hair Care. Um, this is their multi-peptide serum for hair density. This is a super greasy thing. <laughs> and I used it all up, but it was super duper greasy. Now, the minoxidil that I just showed you, that can get your hair a little bit greasy. Like I have to wash my hair like every third day when I'm using that, but this I had to wash it. If I put this in at night, I had to wash it tomorrow because it was just straight oils as far as I could tell. It made my hair so dirty and I just really did not find any difference as far as using it and making my hair feel denser. This isn't a product that says that it will make your hair grow by any means. It just says hair density. So it is, they're talking about more of a conditioning thickening product. But I find some of my thickening products from Living Proof are so much better than this one. So this one didn't work out for me at all. This one is the buffet with copper peptides. And I actually do have about this much left in here. I, I don't like this product. The biggest reason is it's double what the buffet is normally from the ordinary. And you cannot, when you're using it, you can't use any other active serums or anything when you're using it. And every single night when I use serums or the buffet, 
I was using my glycolic acid and I was using my Retin-A, you know, later in my skincare routine. And you can't do that when you're using this. So this is a hard pass for me. I'm going back to my regular buffet from The Ordinary. This one is another one from Biosense. You guys, I got a whole bunch of these. So um, this is just the end of it. This is the Squalane with sea and rose oil. Vitamin C in an oil is really good actually. And so I did really enjoy this one. Um, did I enjoy it to the point to where I felt like um, I need to go repurchase it again? No, because I do use a vitamin C product already that is already in an oil. Um, it's a little bit more stabilizing when you can do that. So that brings me to my next one, which is the Timeless 20% C plus E plus Ferulic Acid Serum. This is a really good vitamin C, but I was getting a lot of stinging with it because I've really amped up my Retin-A usage. So I was kind of, you know, shying away from using vitamin C, which you should use vitamin C every time that you use Retin-A. So I've kind of found another one that isn't quite so harsh on my skin that seems to be getting more sensitive as the days go by. So this is probably one that I will not purchase again, but if you don't have sensitive skin, this is really good from Timeless. This is a really good vitamin C product. And so many of you had recommended it to me and it would have worked if my skin hadn't turned really sensitive and just really angry. Um, the only makeup thing that I really have in here to show you guys is the IT. Um, this is the Brow Power uh, Brow Pencil. I like this because it has the spoolie on one end and then I liked the little oval shape. You guys probably aren't gonna be able to see it, but it's a little oval shape right there that it dispenses the pencil out in. Why I don't like this is because this shade is supposed to be good for everybody. And I found that it was too light even for me. And if I find that something's too light for me, then you know that deeper skin tones are gonna find that it's way too light for them. So how in the world can it be universal when somebody needs to have deep brown or even almost black in their eyebrows? So not really happy with that. So I'm probably not going to uh, purchase that one again. I found ones that I like a little bit better than that. And I think that will do it for today's video. My empties, I feel like I'm talking a million miles an hour. I hope that you guys did enjoy this. Please give this video a thumbs up if you do like seeing empties. Sometimes I feel like empties kind of get repetitive for everybody. And in my empties, I really only put things that I really feel would be valuable to pass on to you as far as, you know, what I'm using. And if it's something that's kind of funky and I might be using it too, um, then I'm gonna put it in my empties as well. But I try to be really, um, particular about what I throw in my empties bag. I don't like to just throw in whatever I use up for the month because I know you guys don't like to see my Tic Tacs. So that's everything for the video today. I hope that you guys did enjoy it. Please give it a thumbs up. Hope that you are having a wonderful week or weekend and I will see you all in my very next video. Love you guys. Bye-bye.